Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Pilates. We're going to do progressives today, which means that we're going to do three levels of each exercise, and then you can stick with any of the levels that feel great, but challenge yourself and take you the whole way. In the meantime, as you can see, I'm outside. The upstairs of my house is about 2,000 degrees, so I thought I'd come downstairs, so I hope you can all hear me, and the picture's clear, and everything's okay. So, um, make sure you're sitting on your sit bones. If you can't hold your legs in front of you, in order to get this position, you can um, take them out, but make sure that you're even through the pelvic area. Inhale up, exhale the ceiling, and inhale down. And exhale up and inhale down, and exhale up and inhale down, and exhale. And take it all the way to the fence. There's a fence over there. You want the bicep over the ear, and you want to push big, not down. You want to push big out. Let's, a matter of fact, let's take a track and try to push it big just a little more on another exhale. The <clears throat> glute on the other side stays grounded. You can take your arm down with a bend or bring it in for kind of a uh, bigger opening of the hip. So just breathe into this. Let's do that three times. We're gonna really get ourselves stretched out today. Now put your hand on your ear, take your head across, open up the scalenes, yeah. And then inhale across and exhale to the rotation. Open your arms wide and get that big open back. So you're looking ahead on the floor. You're getting this big rotation and you're breathing into it. Head is always over the tailbone. Nice. Put your hand on the thigh. Take the other hand behind you, behind the tailbone. Big inhale and exhale twist. And then turn again. Keep lifting as you go. Last one. Make sure your head and shoulder tracks. We want to have three breaths here. Inhale to prepare, exhale, bring it back to center, roll the shoulders back twice, and roll them forward twice, and change the side of your legs. All right, and make sure that again, you are head over tailbone. Inhale up, exhale the ceiling, and inhale down. And exhale up, and inhale down, and exhale up, and inhale down, and exhale, and inhale, and then we're taking it to the house. All right, draw back and then push it through. Let's get that big lean again. Make a decision where you want to have that hand get more of a, a, a kind of push down here, or you can stabilize it out here. Good. Put your hand on your ear and take your head across. You're going to inhale and exhale with rotation. I'm breathing right here. Good. Let's sweep that arm out and open that back some more. Make sure you stay grounded. And on the thigh, you're going to take it to that spinal twist. Big inhale and exhale. Big inhale and exhale. Big inhale and exhale. Lift up. Look over that shoulder. Take three breaths. Good. Inhale to prepare. And exhale, bring it back to center. Put your hands together. Of course, he's going to do that in front of the camera. Push your palms out. You're going to open up your back. Big inhale and exhale. Really sink that belly in. Pull those abs up under that rib cage and open up that back. Right? Nice. Then you're going to drop those hands down and let them curl up. You're going to take the feet to um, seated butterfly. Put the hands in front of your ears and Reach toward Brewster across the room. Drop your shoulder blades. Reach toward Brewster. Touch his tail. See what he thinks about that. Push through, push through, push through. Really feel the extension from your tailbone through the lumbar. And then drop your elbows and curl it up. Those legs go out to hip width apart. And you rock them side to side. Good. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And one. Let's take ourselves down to the mat. All right, we're going to lift ourselves out of our tailbone, starting with the bottom. We're going to roll, roll down vertebrae by vertebrae. Good. Unrolling each vertebrae, shoulder blade, shoulder, and head. Lift your glutes up, take them down the mat. We'll go your upper body up. We're going to do warm ups today. We haven't done them in a while. So we're going to start with the step downs, and then we're going to do the hundreds, and then we'll go into the press. So let's check our body. Belly button to the spine. You still have your lumbar curve in there, right? So you have that flexibility. Abs up and under the rib cage, but the rib cage is closed. 
take your legs and tabletop, automatically point those toes. All right, you can curl yourself up looking between your thighs for this knot at your feet, or you can keep your head down. You're going to inhale down and exhale up. Touching with your toe, right, coming right back to that 90 degree. And exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Keep it going. Feel the loosening of the hips, the, the uh, engagement of the transverse abdominal. There you go. Perfect. We're going to do eight more slow ones. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, three, one. And now double time. Good. Back down. Perfect. Nice. The tabletop. Don't cross that midline. Don't let that knee come across, right? Go so right to the tabletop. Good job. Four, three, two and one okay we have choices for hundreds let's stay right here and pump your hands here you stay right here and pull yourself up into your curl up this is very good for the protection of the back or you can go out to our pilates position here let's take it inhale one two three five exhale three three five inhale good exhale this is funny inhale two three four exhale good job here inhale and exhale, that's 40. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, five. Inhale. And exhale, we're doing it. I'm just doing my numbers any way I want to. Keep going. <clears throat> Perfect. And good. Keep going. One, two, three, four. Good. Last set. And here you go. Hug those knees. I don't know if that was on your but who cares? Rotate the legs around. I'm not mathematical today. And then the other way. <clears throat> and put your feet down. And we're going to start with an upper body exercise. And it's kind of crazy. You're going to put your hands beside your hips and bring yourself up to a back, to a, a pike seat right here. Your elbows are pushing back. And we're going to take it down and up for 20. We're doing the triceps. Two, exhale up. Three, four. Good job. Five. Good. Six. Keep going. Seven. Eight. Nine. And good. One. Two. Nice. Three. Buddy. Four. Good job. Five. Perfect. Six. You could be on camera. I guess, you know, seven. A little more discreet. Eight. Nine. And 20. Okay, where do we go from here? We go up here. Here we go. Now, again, you can stay with the first set, or you can come up to the second. So it's down and one, only 10. Two, elbows go back. Three, good. Four, hi. Five, yeah, you can roll. Six, seven, eight, nine, good job, and 10, lower it down. So you're probably asking yourself, what could be a possible progression from uh, reverse tabletop? Well, one leg. So five with one leg extended, five with the other leg extended. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, and change. One, two, three, four and five good lower yourself down stretch forward to release you back nice and take yourself all the way down okay now we're going to do crossovers and we got three levels of crossovers so that's pretty exciting so we know with our crossover we take our legs to the tabletop point those legs again curl yourself up you have your hand at the, hands at the bottom of your skull so that you're not pushing yourself onto your chest you extend one leg, right? And you bring it over as you extend the other, and then across. You never lower down. So we have 10 sets of these. Two, three, three, four, good. Five, keep lifting as you stay in this position. Six, nice. Seven, perfect. 
Getting those obliques. Eight. Nice. Nine. Nice and slow. And ten. You go to each side. So there you go. Now lie all the way down. We're going to do star for the second position. Now remember, you can stay with that first position. Now star is a long-legged cross. One of the things you need to remember here is that when you do the inhale, you lift both parts of the exercise up. You inhale and exhale across. Good. And across. That's one. Across. Nice. And across. That's two. Now remember, you can always stick with that first exercise. The other thing, across and across. That's three. You can also assist yourself on this one. I'll show you a little bit. Put your hands down and bring yourself up. Good. That's four. Nice. Good. So you can take your hand down and give yourself a little lift. Last five. And five. Good. For both hands, four. And four. Remember to lift in that inhale. Three. And then you exhale when you meet. Three. And then inhale, exhale down. Two. <clears throat> and two. One. Good job. And one. Okay. So you can stay with those first two exercises. Go back to the first one. If you're not thrilled to do the next one, you might need your towel for your tailbone on this one. We go into our pike. So we put our legs up, point our feet, hands beside, behind our head, looking straight ahead. Then it's out and out. One, out and out. Two, out and out. Three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, good job, ten, and relax it all the way down. Put your feet flat and let your knees go to the ceiling. Drop them to the outside. Take a nice deep breath. Nice. And then the other way. And take a nice deep breath. Nice. All right, we're coming on to our side. Straight down the mat. All right, nice long body. Make sure your arm is coming out of your shoulder. You create that bicep pillow. You tuck those hips under. You can put your hand up or in front. Point those toes nice and long. Don't let them pike. This is a long exercise, a little bit more challenging. So you're going to lift and lower. Just for 22. Three. Four, five. Now make sure you, six, have that bottom leg really tighten that long point. Eight, good job. Nine, and 10 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, good job. Nine, perfect. And 20, and lower it down. Again, you can stay with that one. But come here, you're going to bend that leg under, lift your upper body up, and it's one, and two, and three. Again, you can stay down. Four, <clears throat> and we're just going to 10. Five, good job. Six, nice. Seven, Eight, nine, make yourself open, and 10. All right, we're going to bring ourselves just a little bit higher onto our hands, and here we go. One, two, good job. Three, four, five, perfect. Six, seven, eight, nice, nine. Good job, and 10, and lower it down. We're going back to our starting position, separating our legs. So you're taking the top leg to the back corner and the front leg to the front corner of your mat. Make sure your head's over your tailbone. I was just piking a little bit with my head, and I noticed that, so I pulled it back. All right, so we're doing the bottom leg. Lift, and one, two, and this will wait for 20, three, Four, good job. Five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, 10 more, yes, one, two, <clears throat> three, four, feel that transverse abdominal working, five, also pulling around from that hip, six, seven, eight, good job, nine, and tw uh, 20. All right, bring yourself up onto your elbow. You're gonna push into that back leg a little bit to get a lift, one, and two, and three. So you're kind of in a lowered uh, plank four as you lift, five, good job, six, seven, you're off the floor, eight, nine, and 10. Lower down, put this foot into the floor, and you know this one, we're gonna go up into the plank as we lift with our arms. Let's go. One, good job. Two, three, perfect. Four, five, good. Six, nice. Seven, eight, good. Nine, you've got it. And 10, lower it down. Stack those legs and cup around for your sphinx position. Good. We're getting a lot done really fast. Excuse me. All right, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a diagonal here. Hope you like the new background. All right, we're gonna start on our hands and knees. So come right here. Make sure your hands are under your shoulders, your knees are under your hips, and we're just gonna do one leg push-ups. Now, what this is gonna look like is it's gonna be Point to flex. So you're going to start out point, flex in. Two, three, ten on each side. Four, five, six, seven. I did it backwards. Eight, flex it in. Nine, ten. Other side. Point and then flex in. One, try to get up to hip line. Two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oops, and ten, and bring it in. Now, you might want to stay with that or come into this panther or runner's position that we use every now and then. So, how does that look? Hand under the shoulders, knees under the hips, toes into the floor. Right, so come on up, take the leg up, point and one, point and two, three, four, <clears throat> five, good, six, seven. Now I know this hurts a lot of people's knees because eight, because of the gravity on the knee, nine, so just go back to your tabletop and 10, the other side. Chop, one, two, Three, <clears throat> four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Lower down, let's sit back briefly in the child pose. Because now we're going to do it in the plank, okay? All right, so you can get back onto your elbows to do it in plank, or you can stay long armed. Okay. <clears throat> so move up to the stand one leg, then the other. Here we go. One, two, <clears throat> three, four. This feels even easier than uh, Panther. Six, <clears throat> seven, eight, nine, ten. Lower down, other side. Bring it in, <clears throat> point out, flex in. Two, make sure your arms, three are under your shoulders. If we have a tendency for it to drift back a little bit. Five, and then our arms are forward of our shoulders. Six, nice, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, lower it down, sit back into child pose. And <clears throat> let's take it to the other side again. Get down your mat nice and long. Make sure your head's over your tailbone. You're stacking those hips, tucking them under. 
pointing those feet, lift, and two, good. Three, four, you've got it, five, six, seven, go for 20, exhale down, eight, nine, 10, 10 more, one, two, three, four, five, six, nice, seven, eight, <clears throat> nine, and 20. Okay, let's bring it up. And um, bend that knee under, and you're gonna come up. One, two, wait 10, three, open up, four. So make sure you're not rounding with those shoulders, five, not even an inch. So you wanna be flat right here, six, hard to do. That's why I like the arm up, seven, good job, eight. Nine, you got it, and 10. All right, and up to our head supported plank, all the way up. Go, one, two, three, arm under the shoulder, four, <clears throat> five, six, seven, <clears throat> eight, nine, and 10. I'll lower it down, all the way down, and open those legs. Bottom leg to the front, back leg to the back corner. Make sure your head's over your tailbone, wherever you need your hands to support you. Lower leg lift, one. <clears throat> Don't rotate the ankle, two. Exhale up, inhale down, three, four, five, <clears throat> six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 20. All right, let's bring ourselves up onto the elbow. Stick that back foot into the floor to lift yourself up. One, two, three. Now, if you need to, Bring it here, four, just because you're not getting enough stabilization, five, or it's hurting your knee or leg, six, go for it, seven, eight, good job, nine, and 10. Let's bring it in, go to the long arm. We do the inner thigh lift, planky thing that we've done before. One, two, make sure you lift the leg as you lift your body, three, four, five, Perfect. Six, seven, good job. Eight, nine, you've got it. And 10, rotate yourself forward. Let's do a forward fold, crawling your body down to your thighs, putting your hands at the side of your legs, taking a big inhale and exhale. As you get down to the bottom, I want you to spread your chest and your back forward, like you're going to put them down between your calves. Nice. All right, bring yourself up and let's lie all the way back down. Right by bird break. Great. That body. Here we go. Like a bird cage in the, and the uh, hips far apart. Arms are overhead. We're going to do opposite lifts and lowers. So we're going to start with the leg up, so right here. So as the leg comes down, I want you to reach, M one, two. Now, if this is too much on your back, three, there's a couple of options. Four, one is to bend the other leg up, five, yeah, six, so that you have seven, uh, back comfort, uh, eight, good job, nine, and 10, reach beside your body. One, not across. You're not taking the arm across, you're taking it beside. Two, three, so right by your hip. Four, five, good job. Six, seven, keep that leg pointed. The other one's pointed too. Eight, nine, good. And 20, other side. That leg up. So they both go one direction, then the other. Good. One, 
two. This is actually better for your back than separating the three. Take loose the middle, separating four. Good. Five. Six. So I know we've done progressives before, seven, but I was trying today, eight, to come up with some we hadn't done, some versions. Ten. Ten more. One. Some new exercises. Two, so that three, you can mix it up if you're looking for progressives online. Four, good. Five, why would you do that? Because you want to get six stronger in your practice. Seven, eight, nine, good job. And 20. All right, we're going to bring ourselves up to our elbows. We're going to lift with one leg. Okay, one. No arms this time, two. So you have yourself off the ground in the reverse plank, three. Good, so just leg is pushing down, four. Probably should have done it better. Five, six, seven, good job. Eight, nine, and 10, reverse. One, good, stay up, or come all the way back down, four, two, three whatever your body can stand for or wherever you want to travel in your practice. Five, good, six, seven, eight, nine, good job, and 20. All right, we're going to put our hands into the floor, extend our legs, make sure your hands are facing forward or out to the side. You don't want to um, put them backwards. The fingers facing that way, that's bad for your shoulders. Perfect. All right, lift up. One, two. Now, if you're having trouble here, you can always stand it down. Three, right? Or keep it long. Four. The progression is to keep it long. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good job. And let's lower and reach. And we'll do the other side. Just a real quick break. I want you to stay in the work. One, Two, three, my knees turning a little bit. Four, I'm going to support it. Five, good job. Six, seven, eight, good job. Nine, and ten, and lower yourself all the way down. All right. <clears throat> you take your legs to tabletop and cross your arms in front of you. And you're going to curl up to that tabletop. That's number that's position number one. So curl and one. Keep your uh, chin tucked. Keep your curl three. So this is a um, your C curve five. All right, sink that belly in. Six, sink it in. Pull those abs up and under seven. Good. And when you come down, you just make it long with that exhale. Nine, ten. One, two, three, keeping those arms tucked, four, because I'm trying to get you to isolate the abdominus rectus, five, so we're not throwing in the lats or the shoulders, six, right? Seven, eight, <clears throat> nine, and 20. And just hold it right there, take three big breaths. Okay, as we come up, we're going to push the legs out for 10, but we're not <clears throat> coming up any higher, okay? So you're going to go one, <clears throat> two, nice, three, good job, four, good, five, perfect, six, seven, eight, <clears throat> nine, and 10. Cross your arms the other way just for a variety's sake. So we make sure we get those shoulders even. <clears throat> Take three breaths right here. And then we're going to come up into our pike. It's almost a teaser move, all right? But we're doing it without the arm assistance. Without this helping us pull up. Ready? So this is going to be hard for me. I don't know about you. All right. Inhale and exhale. So one. There we go. Two, perfect, don't assist if you don't need to. Three, four, really try it. Five, 
six, nice. Seven, eight, nice. Nine, you've got it. And 10, lower your legs, put your hands in a long position on your shins and just open your back into a cat curl. Nice. What I don't have down here is my clock, so I have to keep looking at my watch. Now fold over. I know very different work today. Oh, I think it's different. All right, bring yourself all the way down. Take a nice deep breath. Have another two more. We're coming back to our side. <clears throat> now this time we're going to pipe. So elbow back, glute back, legs forward, tuck those hips under, make sure your elbow and shoulder in alignment, pull up through the belly. Good. I'm so happy I'm out here. It's 92 degrees upstairs in my house, so you can. And I was also telling myself, they do Pilates in Texas, Arizona, so I should be able to do it here. All right, lift and lower one leg. Let's lift one and for 20. Two, you're in your pike. So this has got a lot more flexibility than straight down the mat. Four. But one of the things we want to do is not get too comfortable and fall back. Five. And also, if you need to pad your hip, six, because we are pushing onto our hip for this position. Seven. Eight. Good job. Nine. All my roses are good. Ten. One. Nice. Two. Three. Pull that belly in. Four, five, six, good, seven. I think you'll find these for this progression a lot more familiar. Nine and 20, both legs. One, we're not, again, we're not using the upper body. Two, just for 10, three, <clears throat> four, five. I usually encourage you to include the lats. Six, today I want you to really, seven, go for it on these isolations. Eight. Good job. Nine. You got it. And ten. Now hold it up here because our final is a circle. One. Five in one direction. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And oh, ten. I guess we'll do ten in each direction. One. Two. Three. Really grinds on the hip. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine and ten. All right, face down. All right. So what we're going to do for the progression here is just a simple plank. We're going to do a thirty-second plank. Then we're going to do a thirty-second plank, it's changing the leg width, and then we'll go into our pipes. So you pick your plank. You can have the knees down, one knee down. You can have elbows down. You can have hands up or hands arms extended. What you have to do is make sure you're parallel in every position. All right, so turn me, hands on your shoulder, head looking down, belly button the spine. I'm pushing through my heels. Good. <clears throat> Big inhale and exhale, and lift. 30 seconds. Okay. Hold right there. Breathe into it. We love planks. We haven't done just sitting playing for such a long time. Nice. So if you're doing one knee down, it's a good time to switch knees. Good. And lower your knees and sit back in the child pose. <clears throat> All right, for the next one, one leg off for 15. The other leg off for 15. So again, you can stick with your original for the base exercise and progression. Okay. All right, make sure you have your hands or elbows under your shoulders. One leg back and then the other. Then extend your leg. Make sure you stay into the plank. And here's 15 seconds right here. Here's the heel. Good. Perfect. Nice job. Switch, push into it, make sure you stay even. Oh, booster for the bell. <laughs> stay on it. 
head and knees come down, sit back into child pose. Now, when we go from plank to plank, we're gonna do alternating one-legged dogs, okay? So let's take a nice deep breath back here and I'll explain that in a second. And these will be counted. It'll be 10 on each side. So we'll do 10 with one one-legged dog first and then 10 with the other one. The dog first, okay? All right, and so elbows or hands. And remember, guys, you can do these with your hands on your couch or a chair. Or you can actually do it on the wall, whatever, okay? So one-legged dog, one, back to plank, two, Nice. Three, really reach up. <clears throat> Four. Five. Six. Nice. Seven. Eight. Good. <clears throat> Nine. Perfect. And ten. Lower it down, switch sides, open it up. One. <clears throat> two. Mm. Three, good. Four, five, <clears throat> six, really reach. <clears throat> Seven, push that thigh toward those, or get toward that thigh. Eight, <clears throat> nine, and ten. Knees come down, sit back into child pose. Good. Now we're going to pike on the other side. Okay. So this way, <laughs> elbow back, glutes are back, legs are to the front. I'm gonna let you rest a little bit. I just wanna do position first because I believe we're running out of time here. Point those feet, tuck it under, elbow under shoulder. Whew. Take a nice deep breath, tuck. All right, all right, let's do it. one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, reach out, six, seven, eight, nine, and 20, both legs, lift and lower. One, good job. Two, my helping birds. Three, four, five, six. Try not to roll back on those glutes. Seven, all right? And then shifting those shoulders, right? Eight, that'll cause a lot of pain. Nine, so you gotta isolate. 10, here's our circle. 10 in one direction, then the other. Two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice job. Let's get back onto our back. We're going to finish off soft. We're going to do a bridge progression and then we'll go right to our stretches. All right, so we curl ourselves down again. Nice. Make sure you separate your hips from your rib cage. Your feet are about hip width apart. We're going to start with the feet down, and we're going to do 20 ridges. This is for Roxanne, okay? Lift and one. I want to welcome Vicki back from her trip. Two and three until... Sandy, four, that my, you are beautiful sticker, five, is covering the apple on my computer, six, thank you for that, seven, eight, nine, good job, ten, ten more, one, two, Nice. Three, four, good. Five, six, nice. Seven, 
Good. Eight. Perfect. Nine. You got it. And 20. Now, oh, did you see me drop that too fast? Get on your heels. When you come up, you're going to hold for three, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, three. So your toes are lifted. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, six. One, two, three, seven. One, two, three, eight. One, two, three, nine. One, two, three, ten. Now, we're going to cross one leg over the other with an open thigh, staying on the heel. Ten on each side. One, no, no, hold, oh, no three hold. Two. <clears throat> Three, four, try to lift it, five. So you feel the rotation in your hip, right? Six, seven, eight, good, nine, you got it. And ten, and switch up in the sky and lower. One, two, Good job. Three. Good job. Four. Five. <clears throat> six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. And lower the stay up there. Lower the foot. Drop them out into a butterfly. Lower down. And just feel the opening of the pelvis. Breathe into it. Then drop the front knee to the back and scoot those knees up, turning your extending your opposite arm and turning your head toward the opposite direction. Really scoot those knees up, then extend that top knee leg and put your hand under it and just give it a nice stretch so you get that hip opened up. So that's kind of bonus hip stuff. Then you're keeping that leg extended as you bring everything back to uh, upward facing. Bring your hand onto that leg. Inhale and exhale lower. Big inhale and exhale lower. Big inhale and exhale lower and hold it right there. Breathe into it. Now put your hand on the outside of the foot and bring it down. Push through, let's lower one more time. Let's get a little more opening and hold it. Drop it onto the other leg and push it open with your hand right here. Lift the other leg up, get that squeeze. Good job, nice. Slide it off, you put those legs to the other side, turning your face to the uh, back and then extending that leg nice and long and stretching that hip outward. That stretch. And bring it back up, begin how and exhale lower. Big inhale and exhale lower. If you missed stretch yesterday, I think it's worth visiting. It's a mobilization stretch. But I did get your body kind of mobilized after doing like a really long chore, carrying boxes or gardening or scrubbing the refrigerator. All right, put your hand on the outside of the foot and push down.
It's probably one of my favorite things to do in the morning is have happy baby pose. This feels like it opens everything that's been closed up. And then bring it back up to the descent. Take it down, next time lower and hold it. And drop that leg onto that foot or thigh and push into the cross thigh. And then bring it up off the floor for that nice big hip opening squeeze. Put those legs beside each other and drop them toward the screen. Bring yourself around. <clears throat> and we're going to start in butterfly. See the butterfly right here. And look up through it. So that's what I'm doing for time. Lift up through it. Right. Drop your shoulder blades. It's beautiful. And now we're going to open up the back. So big inhale. And exhale. You're pulling the belly button to the spine. You're lifting the abs up under the rib cage. You're letting that back open vertebrae by vertebrae without pushing the shoulders forward. And then inhaling back up to a lift. Good, and then exhaling back into the curl. Open our legs into our seated position. Get your head over your tailbone. You're sliding one arm out. The other one comes over the ear. You bend this elbow. Make sure you're open. And then rotate your body down. Walk it in, arms come out, go over to the other side. We need to open both sides. Make sure your elbow on the bottom is bent. And up nice and long. <clears throat> Make sure that shoulder's rolling back. That's the hardest thing for me. And then rotate it down. And then walk forward into your lowered chest. Long arms and walk it in. Okay, we do need a real some official cat cow. So let's get our hands under our shoulders and our knees under our hips. Inhale, bottom and chin up. Exhale, curl up. Good. Curl up like a cat. Hold it right there. Touch your toes under. Go up and here, downward facing dog. Push your chest toward your thigh. And walk it in. And hang. And maybe a rag doll hang, like the one where you let everything go, right? So let's bring ourselves up vertebrae by vertebrae. Good job. Don't, don't jump the sequence. All right, and we're up here. Roll your shoulders back twice. Roll your shoulders. And then washing machine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come to the center, breathe it up and down. Two more up and down. And the last time, thank you everybody for coming to uh, progressions. I hope you enjoyed these different kind of moves and my crazy math. Bye.